Hello Mr. YouTube Watcher, this is Joyful Spirit and on this video I will show you how to beat Big Valleys on a Nightmare difficulty. Big Valleys is a map that shows up pretty early in the campaign but yet it is really really hard. It's the first map that I really had trouble with and the maps after that seemed much easier than, than this one. So what I did at first was I tried to defend every one of these three lanes with traps but it just totally did not work I could not handle all the waves so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna use the innate advantage I get from these barricades by building more barricades and locking down the the passages I'm gonna lock down this I'm gonna lock down this so every orc is gonna go through here and then I'm gonna lock down this passage so every orc is gonna go through here. You can even see the wisps as they show the passage of the orcs. And then I'm gonna lock down this one later on. And I will have a nice tunnel in which I can kill the orcs with my pounders on the, on the ceiling, with, uh, with the acid sprayers. And I, I screwed up my trap setup, so I'm just gonna re retry. And now it's the trap setup I, I really want. So what, what you're gonna see later is I need to defend my barricades with brimstones because sappers spawn in big numbers every wave and I'm gonna need to place brimstones along these, along these lanes to kill the trappers before they get to my barricades and before they blow them up. So for the time being I'm just gonna place the acid sprayers, I'm gonna place the floor scorchers, just the basic AoE setup. And a single brimstone here. And this should do for the first wave. I have, I have some money left over, so Relax let's place the barricade and there. release the horde. Bring it, horde. I gotcha. I totally gotcha. Wasting their shields. The lesson is complete. It's kind of important to waste uh, orcs' shields with uh, simple weak shots on Nightmare difficulty because every orc wears a shield which is really really good for them really really bad for me oh yeah and also need to remember to use my scavenger trinket just to get as much money as I can yeah got him covered I got him covered with acid literally Oh, and there you go. There you go. Gotta block it. Sappers. Miss the sappers. There you go. That th That's those three seconds between waves. That's why I miss the sappers so much. It's just so hard to... Be in position and place all the traps. Okay, so I've, I've blocked the lanes. Now they have to go through here. No other way left for them. I'm gonna use the minecart because it deals massive damage and it's kind of free. It's kind of free damage. So, uh, it's kind of tough because th these normal orcs will sometimes trigger my brimstones and uh, waste their cooldown. Come on. Oh, I should not have standed here. The grenade hurt at the barricade. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I totally didn't watch my HP. So, uh, that's talking and playing there for you. That's what happens when you talk and play. But I'm still alive, I'm still fine. I'm gonna catch some sappers. Catching them. Totally catching them. Now that's what you need to win this game. You gotta catch these sappers. Oh, there's a skull. Alright. Alright. So what I need to do is I need to maximize my damage in this choke point. Once they leak through the choke point, I'm in uh, more trouble. Sappers, more sappers. Where are the sappers? Can't see them. 
hope they didn't blow up anything important. Ah, uh, probably not. Everything seems to be alive. It's really important to stay on top of refreshing the barricades as soon as they die. Because, uh, as I'm saying, the once the mob leaks through uh, a barricade they're not supposed to go through, it's, it gets really bad really fast. What's this? How did you get here, little orc? I totally did not invite you to that party. Yeah, dude. Alright, so... Uh, sappers! More sappers! Getting the sappers! Getting them! Totally getting them! Right. So that was the important part. Now let's just do the cleaning up. I have a lot of They'll money. I'm gonna make a lot of pounders because I have a lot of money. Okay. One more floor scorcher. And... Some more ISIS prayers. This is the wave where it should... Uh, they should begin to pouring the Earth Lords. I, I'm expecting the Earth Lords already. I'm expecting them to bring the pain. Okay. Oh, there you go. That's the Earth Lord. And that's the more Earth Lords. So what I need is more Pounders. And when do I need them? I need them fast. Releasing the boulders. Okay, that wasn't that bad. This is bad. This is bad. I'm gonna refresh all the... Oh, come on. Yeah. It's pretty good to refresh with, with the Trap Reset Trinket all of these pounders because they will deal like all this huge damage again. Okay, come on. Need to hold them here until the boulders recharge. That's my strategy for dealing with elf lords. Not easy, but totally doable. Right. Got it done. Did you see how I got it done? Let's do that again. Okay, sappers. Sappers, sappers on the way. Got him. Got him. And that's the most important part. Get the sappers. Okay, so that's wave 5 of 8. I probably should have used a bomb on on these earth lords. Because there are, there are these bombs uh, hanging from the ceiling that I can use in, in the most tragic of circumstances. Because that earth lord was uh, probably the scariest wave I'm gonna face. Except the last wave where uh, the sappers spawn on mass. I'm looking good. I'm looking good. They don't stand a chance. They don't seem to stand any chance. What's up, Elemental? Oh, I forgot I have a crossbow too. Oh my god, I have l really low HP. Okay, here's the potion. Yeah, I forgot I have a crossbow. That would make the dealing with Earth Lords in the previous way way easier. Because the headshots from the crossbow are really strong. Okay, charming the auger. That's the spirit. Fighting for me, Mr. Augur. I'm gonna make it worthwhile for you. At this rate, they'll run out of orcs. I'm gonna be extra charming. Right until you die. They're in the East Hall. So that's what you get for trusting the sorceress. Crossbow bolt to the head. Thanks for helping me along anyway. Killing orcs is so exhausting. Whoa, whoa, sappers coming in! Oh shoot! How many was that? Where are you going, little buddy? All right. So I'm glad I actually had some money left over to f to fill up the barricade because if I had no money and this barricade went down, I would be in real trouble. And I mean big. Because um, all my traps are here. If, if they circumvented them... That would be no good. Alright, there are Earth Lords. I'm gonna blow him up. Oh, what the? He didn't even die from that bomb. Okay, so I was wrong. This bomb app apparently does not one-shot everything. But my crossbow does. What's up, Mr. Earth Lord? How, did, how would you like a bit of my crossbow? Yeah. Headshotting him. 
refreshing the founders. Bam. That's what you do. That's what you do in this map. That's how I roll on my turf. Whoa, that's a lot of orcs, actually. So I'm just gonna place a secondary line of defense here. That should be no problem. Just headshot them. The real problem will be that I'm gonna be totally out of position for the next wave if I kill them in there. So I gotta set myself up to run for... Oh, there's some more. Some leftovers. Oh, I left one alive. Die. It's so nice that he got lost. It, their pathing apparently resets after they die, so the Earthlings are trying to go through the barricade that are blocked, that, that is blocked again, even though the Earth Lord saw that the barricade is inaccessible. I probably screwed up my, my, my uh, barricade setup. They probably should have been like uh, more here, so that they're, it's, they're farther away from the sappers and it's easier to protect the barricade. And in case you're wondering, every trap I'm using is fully upgraded, so that really helps. Whoa, get off me. Yeah, these gnolls, they can jump over the barricades no problem. So I gotta be really careful about these. I'm gonna stand underneath the pounders. That will protect me. Okay, I have 6,000 money, so I'm totally loaded. I'm gonna place some more pounders. And I'm looking good. I'm looking really good. If not for my careless death, nothing would pass through. So many and so many right. So, as I said, the next wave, the last wave, is gonna be really, really hardcore. There's gonna be a lot of sappers. Oh, a skull. There's gonna be a lot of sappers. They're gonna blow up the barricades, and I really shouldn't spend that much money. <laughs> because I need to have the bank of money to refresh my traps. I mean, to refresh my by barricades. Because there's gonna be sappers spawning like in the middle of the wave, there's no way to catch all of them. There's gonna be a lot of runners too. See, more sappers. But I'm handling stuff so far. Grabbing the auger. Grabbing the elemental. Now, how many was that? So is there gonna be more sappers? Show them to me. I'm totally ready. I'm doing good. Step into my I'm doing real good. Orcs. Really could have had five skulls if I didn't die carelessly. Watch out! Sappers. Watch out. Oh, see? The brimstone got him. That's the way of doing it. Yeah, the brimstone. Awesome. Awesome job, Mr. Brimstone. You totally got him. I'm gonna blow this bomb up, just because I can. Boom! Nothing was underneath it. So all I got out of it is just pure enjoyment of blowing things up. No, 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 no! Don't kill me. Don't you dare kill me. I'm just gonna chill in here. Away from the bombing gnolls. And there's only one guy left. Oh, this is this ogre that was fighting for me so valiantly. That's the way to do it. So that was Big Valley's nightmare difficulty. And using this strategy, I actually had four skulls the last time I used it. This time I died a little bit too much. But you can see this is an effective strategy. This is the way you can really beat this map on Nightmare difficulty. Even if you don't have your traps fully upgraded. Uh, the first time I won in this scenario was when I did not have my barricades upgraded at all. It was hard, but I did it. I had a four, four skull rating. You can really get things done. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna give you some more. See ya!